Welcome back to the 10th Annual K-Love Fan Awards and our red carpet coverage here on The Christian Beat. We're so happy to have Katie Nicole with us. It is such an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here with you, but it's also just an honor to be here, period. Absolutely. This is incredible. And uh, to see all of these amazing people out here that are, uh, it's kind of weird to like, we're behind this yes. and they're over there. I just yes. want to go give them all a hug. Absolutely. You know? Uh, I'm thinking back to, they, and there they are. They are showing their love. Kane is here, everybody. Of course. Yes, of course. I was thinking back to last year yeah. and how much has happened in your life over this mm. last year. Yes. One of Christian music's fastest rising artists. Wow. I'm always curious, how do you kind of stay humble and stay grounded amidst so much objective success and excitement? You know, I mean, I have a pretty strong foundation just in the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had that even prior to all of this happening. And yes. so I don't ever want that to be shaken because that is my priority. That is the main goal at the end of the day is to glorify God and to be um, a light and yes. an example for others as well, you know, especially for a younger generation that's coming up. You know, I want to I want to lead well if I can. And I'm going to try my best as humanly possible. And so I have incredible people around me that will be honest and they will hold me accountable to my actions. And I am so grateful for those people yes. because I think as hard as it is to hear sometimes the criticism, it also will only benefit you in the long run because truly the affirmation is going to do more damage than the ridiculing because we can't handle that. It's not, we're not meant to, yes. to carry that. So. The truth is, is that as grateful as I am for where I'm at right now, I'm also just incredibly grateful for the impact that it's had on people. Amen. And I only want to focus in on the stories and the people Amen. that are hearing yes. these songs. And God, at the end of the day, God, yep. just God. <laughs> Amen. You know, I want to ask you about your hold on music video. Oh, yes. came out recently. It is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I'm that's just so kind of kind. curious about what you remember from that day of, mm. of shooting and working on your vision for that for that collection. Yeah. So mm. hold on is a song. It is a true story about my life. I have dealt with a lot of anxiety and depression and just mental health struggles in general. And I got to a place where I did not want to be on earth anymore. And the Lord said to me, hold on. I'm not done yet. And those words that were being spoken over me, I'm so incredibly grateful for because that is the only reason why I'm here today Absolutely. and so that still small voice that I was able to hear is my goal is that someone will hear that exact same still small voice and hopefully a life will be saved through this song not only that but they will see Jesus yes. I just want people to see Jesus the way that I've seen Jesus I have definitely dealt with pain and heartache in my life to the point where I wanted to give up. And so I know that feeling, I know that brokenness, but I also know that there's a God who is bigger than that. I love your story. I love yeah. your testimony. I always appreciate you taking the time to share it with us. Oh, and man. I'm so grateful to be here, really. Yeah. It's just an honor to talk to you today. And, and to be able to share these things is, is something I'm really grateful for. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.